Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liddy and today I have another haul and unboxing for you. As some of you may know, as I mentioned it on Instagram it, and as well as on the community tab, I have been ill with COVID pretty much the whole of the holidays. So excuse the voice, my voice still isn't completely back yet, but I still wanted to film this because it's really long overdue. I have so many packages that are just piling up and I was like, I can't wait any longer to open them. And also some of them are used, so I need to check if they are all in okay condition. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas break and New Year's. I'm not sure when this video will be out, so maybe my voice will be back by then, but I hope you guys enjoy. So despite my somewhat nasally voice, <laughs> I hope you guys still enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get into unboxing, shall we? So this one is, I think it's a pre-order. I have quite a lot of pre-orders that got shipped this month from Forbidden Planet. So that's quite exciting. So we can see what we have. Okay, so we have two pre-orders in here. Amazing. So... So yeah, this is the Apothecary Diaries Volume 7. This one just released, I think, last month. But this one is about Mao Mao, who is trained in the art of herbal medicine, but is actually forced to work as a lowly servant in the inner palace. And then she basically becomes promoted as a food taster and then things kind of unravel from there and there's a lot of mystery and intrigue in this while well, as the plot is quite interesting in terms of things that happen and I really like the fact that Mao Mao is super strong she is a really strong heroine in this manga so I really enjoy that about this series I've only read two volumes so far but I do want to continue this series for sure and then we have Requiem of the Rose King, Volume 16. As you know, I'm con constantly collecting Requiem of the Rose King. And Volume 1 actually recently came back in stock. So I'm super excited to receive that. I don't know if there will be in any of these packages, but yeah, we'll see. Only one volume in this one. But we have one of my most anticipated releases is In the Clear Moonlit Dust by Mika Yamamori. So this one is Mika Yamamori's work that is actually not an age gap. I think all the manga that she has written has been age gap so far. So I'm really super excited to read this one. This one is about a high school romance where two students are dubbed the princes of the school because they're really handsome she takes on quite an androgynous look so that's why she is also dubbed a prince but then he kind of sees her as you know a girl that kind of story unfolds from there and i think they both end up starting a interesting relationship but the art style is really pretty so i'm hoping to enjoy this one i wasn't really too sure about tsubaki cho because i did read that and i thought it was kind of interesting but i'm not really feeling the you know love dynamic because of course it is you know an age gap and i'm not super into those at the moment so yeah i'm excited to try one of mika yamamori's um, works that doesn't involve that kind of thing I've heard loads of good things about this one, so super excited to finally unbox this. We have another one volume in here, and it is Midnight Rain. So this is by CTK, and it is a BL manga. The reason why I picked this up was because the main character has facial hair, and that's pretty much all I know about this is um i think it's quite a hard-hitting uh, bl story and it has a lot of dark themes from what i can tell but yeah i pretty much picked this up because of the facial hair and i know that's like the most stupid reason but it's really hard to find manga with protagonists that have facial hair especially in bl so i was like yeah i'm gonna pick it up 
it looks cool i also know that nana dreams or summer on youtube they read it and they really enjoyed it so i'm intrigued to try it out for myself i probably won't go into much detail for some of these because i have a lot to get through and i don't want to bore you guys so yeah sorry if i'm going too fast okay and we have another new release which is Bungo Stray Dogs, Another Story, Volume 2. I have Volume 1 and this is pretty much going to expand my Bungo Stray Dogs collection. And I actually have no idea what this alternate story is about. But I'm pretty much collecting all Bungo Stray Dogs things. And they were for a good price on Forbidden Planet. So I just ended up picking a lot of them up. Yeah, and this one is another one. I think this one is also Forbidden Planet. Oh, so another really anticipated release is my Gently Raised Beast. And this is by Yosulki, an original story by Ali Flower. And yeah, this one is a manhwa and it's obviously by new imprint of Izzy Press. Obviously, I'm pretty much picking up all the manhwas that are being released in English because I want to support this industry a lot. Obviously, as some of you may know, I am Korean, so I do want to support my fellow Korean manhwas. Yeah, and this one, I pretty much only know that girl has a black cat that's basically her only friend and then later this black cat turns into a boy and things happen from there but that's pretty much all they know about this manhwa and I thought it sounded really cute and it's quite popular in Korea so I'm interested to start this and read this of course and it is a really thick volume actually and of course being a manhwa it is full color so yeah super excited to start this one and the next one from forbidden planet oh another uh, anticipated release for me for sure is seventh time loop the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy so if you read my uh, November reading log. I read the first volume of this in November and absolutely loved it so I'm super excited to continue this series and this story is about Rish who every time she turns 20 she has a bad ending where she ends up getting killed by this guy and so each lifetime she tries to do something new for herself and learn something different but in her seventh life she just wants to relax and you know be she just wants to relax and not do anything so she agrees to marry this guy who is actually the person who kills her every time so she wants to try to see if she can live a relaxing and long life by becoming his wife and yeah it's really good i really like rish because she's quite self-sufficient and she kind of know what knows what she wants and she is also very smart as well and she learned a lot of different things in her past lives rather than just you know sulking and you know she accepted her fate and made um, a good life for herself each time she did die so i really like that about her and she's just a very strong female lead so yeah i really enjoyed that about her and enjoyed this so i'm really excited to continue this story really recommend this if you like villainous manga for sure and this one here <laughs> okay we got quite a few books here and they're all of the same series as you can see so we've got Bunga Stray Dogs volume 8 volume 13 volume 7 and volume 10 so I pretty much picked up most of the Bunga Stray Dogs volumes that I could find especially on books please because they do it for quite a good price so when I see them for under eight pounds i immediately get them because 
I found that most places sell these volumes for over £10, which is really expensive. So whenever I see them, I do end up getting them quite quickly. Yeah. So as you know, I am collecting this series. I still haven't continued it. And I was supposed to read further during the holidays, but obviously because I was ill, I did like no reading. But yeah, I'm hoping to continue this series in 2023. And yeah, if anyone wants to speak to me about this series, I'd love to hear your thoughts as well on it. So next parcel, I kind of opened this one because it was out in the rain. So I kind of know what this one is, but it is the last volume of Wotokoi that I needed and it is volume 4. So yeah, I love the colored pages that we get in between the Wotokoi volumes. But yeah, this was the last volume I needed to complete my Wotokoi collection. So I'm really happy to have this and excited to start this series. And, and the next parcel. And I got this from Waterstones because my company gave me a Christmas voucher to spend at certain retailers and Waterstones was one of the retailers I could spend that money on. So of course I bought manga and I got Requiem of the Rose King volume 14. I bought a few other volumes that are still waiting to be dispatched but yeah this one got dispatched and yeah it's volume 14 to add to my requiem of the rose king collection i'm super excited to start and finish this series hopefully in 2023 and this is a volume that i actually got on traveling man online but because they actually ran out of stock on their online so yeah this is children of the whales volume 3 i think i've talked about this series before but i have started collecting children of the whales mainly because i found out that this is actually ending soon at 20 something volumes so it kind of attracted me to try this and of course it is a shoujo series so you know me and collecting shoujo series when i can and supporting that so yeah i pretty much ordered all of these volumes as many as i could on the traveling man sale they had like a christmas and a new year's sale so i pretty much picked up a lot of children of the whales so you'll probably see that in future hauls yeah and another one i think this one is a used book let's see what it is and it is full moon volume 5 so this one was the one that came all the way from america i pretty much bought this for like 15 pounds which is a lot more obviously than retail because back in the day it used to be 5.99 so i pretty much paid around triple the price but it is really hard to find these volumes now so i still wanted to complete my collection of full moon which I hauled in a previous haul and I am missing three and seven which those ones are impossible to find right now so yeah I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish this but it is one of my childhood favorites so I decided to spend a little bit more on this volume and the condition is actually surprisingly good considering but it is just a little bit yellow and that's it yeah full moon if you haven't read this i would highly recommend you try this series if you are a shoujo fan because it is a classic in my opinion and more forbidden planet parcels and i got the newly released yora pearl harbor descent record so this is a new near automata manga and as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, I am a huge Neo Automata fan and I had to get the manga, of course. I don't know if this is any good, but I'm pretty much all about supporting Nia franchise. So I pretty much bought everything that's out, except for the light novels. I haven't bought those yet, but I'm not sure if I will. But yeah, I had to get the manga, of course. And if you guys didn't know, there is a Nia Automata anime coming out this month on the 7th. It probably is already out by the time this video is out, but 
I hope you all will watch it and hopefully enjoy it because I'm really excited for it and I'm also hoping that it's really good but it'll be great to have all the support on this franchise for sure and this one I'm not sure where this one's from oh I didn't know this was a hardcover oh okay so this one is my broken Mariko and I didn't know this was a hardcover and it looks actually really good. I heard this one is like a really sad and deep story about this girl's friend Mariko who actually dies. I think it is through suicide and she basically takes her ashes on a journey and it kind of follows that story and apparently it is really heartbreaking and it is a really interesting tale of you know setting people free someone was talking about this on bookstagram and i really was intrigued to also get it so yeah hopefully this is good and i enjoy it as well i probably need to be in the right mood to read this kind of story if it is quite sad so yeah we'll see if i get through this anytime soon but yeah another parcel i think this one is from books please as well and another really anticipated release of course is Yakuza Fiance which is Reiza Tanaka-i and so many people have been talking about this series being one of their absolute favorites. I know Purple Frog as well as Nana Dreams have talked about this and extremely enjoy it so i'm really interested of course it is probably about yakuza and it's people say that the story is not what you'd expect and i think there isn't a like super good love in this in terms of it being you know healthy but yeah i'm interested to try this out and it looks really good i do really like the art style it's quite unique but yeah these volumes are so thin though and considering that it's like 14 pounds it's absolutely crazy how expensive manga is getting but yeah excited to have this finally and another one i have no idea where this one's from oh okay so this one is also from waterstones from the gift card that i used and it is volume two of kowloon generic romance the first volume of this i thought it was a bit strange but then i am really intrigued in terms of what happens as well as the art style is really stunning so i decided to get it and the future covers for this series is amazing so i was like yeah i need to collect this yeah this one is an interesting sci-fi story set in kowloon hong kong of course yeah there is a little element of mystery as well involved in this story that will probably come to light as the story progresses but yeah it's very interesting and this is also by the same mangaka who did after the rain but yeah i'm excited to continue this one and see how it plays out and another one i think this one is also from books please oh okay so i have the rest of Love Me, Love Me Not, Volume 12 and Volume 11. And I think that pretty much completes my Love Me, Love Me Not collection. I am currently buddy reading this with a few people from the Manga Dudettes Discord. And this girl here is not nice. But yeah, I am currently reading this. And the first volume was okay so far. It's a little bit high school. And this girl, Yuna, is so naive that i can't relate to her character at all so i'm a little bit um not sure how i feel but i do have all the volumes now so we shall see i think yeah i hope this character yuna develops a little bit more and isn't so naive because i think she'll annoy me but yeah i am excited to continue this series and see if it gets any better happy to have this considering i do really like aosaki saka's art style and another one we have here okay so another manga that i bought from the waterstones gift card 
was Children of the Whales Volume 7. So I did say that I was pretty much collecting all of this series and you'll see in my unboxing that I pretty much bought the whole series from Traveling Man. This was one of the volumes that they didn't actually have in stock so I bought it on Waterstones. Yeah, Children of the Whales Volume 7. And now we have two parcels from Traveling Man and let's see what we have. I don't know if this one has all my... Okay, yeah, I think it does. Okay, so we got Children of the Whales 14, 11, oh, this cover is really nice. 13, 9, 6. You can't deny that these covers are really nice, really stunning. Volume 8. Volume 12. Ooh, this one's a little bent. Volume 4. And Volume 5. So the main reason why I picked up these volumes from Traveling Man was because all of these volumes were actually six pound 29 and that is really cheap for viz media big volumes because usually these are 9.99 or 8.99 and if you do like a three for two they work out around six pound 60 and in store these days most children of the whales volumes are not in store so it's hard to get a three for two offer on them anyways. And the ones that are being reprinted are all $9.99. So it's just so much cheaper to buy them on Traveling Man. So yeah, my video got cut off because my phone said there was not enough storage, but basically Children of the Whales I got because it was, um, Traveling Man was having a sale, um, New Year's and Christmas sale for 10% off. And these were a really good price. So I got pretty much one to 20 and of course i can't resist a bargain but yeah children of the wells is an interesting story which i haven't started yet but it is about these children basically who live on a live on a floating island city made of clay and magic called mud whale and their small community is pretty much cut off from everyone else so they never actually go out of you know their home and meet anyone else other than themselves and i think they also have these kind of magical abilities but at the cost of shortening their life and later on they go on like a scouting mission and they discover this young girl who seems to know a lot more about their home than they expected and it kind of starts on that journey of these people and exploring outside of what they know and as well as their home because they are interested in exploring outside of their home but they never had a chance to do that pretty much the basis of children of the whales and i hear it gets really dark as well considering the title as well as how bright the books are but yeah really intrigued to see how that story unfolds i am super excited to start it and even more so now that i know that the volumes are ending because it always gives me a little bit more anxiety when a series is ongoing and i don't know when it's gonna end but yeah i have another traveling man parcel and i think there's gonna be more children with the whales in here but we shall see and i think i see some already all right okay so they had children of the Wells volume 10 another stunning cover and 16 17 18 Ooh, I love this cover. 19 and 20. So this is pretty much all of what is currently released of Children of the Whales. So yeah, I pretty much got all 1 to 20 of Children of the Whales now. 
I picked up obviously the first two and 15 when I went to Bourbon Planet but yeah that pretty much completes that and I am looking forward to starting this in the new year and then I got the Demon Prince of Momochi House Volume 13 so I was kind of holding off ever completing this series as you might have seen in my um, organizing video but this volume was on Traveling Man for $4.99 and with the 10% off that's you know pretty much a bargain so I decided to pick it up and continue collecting this series and hopefully finishing it because I only have like three more volumes to finish collecting so I thought might as well and can't resist the bargain so yeah I got that and then I picked up Banana Fish Volume 7. I am continuously collecting Banana Fish and recently I found some more volumes on Blackwells and I also ordered some on Waterstones from the gift card that I had that Waterstones had in stock. So yeah, I am continuously collecting this. I think I only have six more volumes in total to actually purchase to finish this collection so that's pretty exciting and hopefully i can start reading it again but yeah this one i've talked about before so if you want to know a little bit more about banana fish and my thoughts you can watch my november reading log where i reviewed the first volume and then i um, finally got alhara ride volume 9 it came back in stock on traveling man and of course with the discount it was a really good price so yeah, that is Alhara Ride Volume 9 and that pretty much completes my Alhara Ride collection now. So yeah. And then I picked up Volume 2 of Jealousy. This one was also the last volume I needed to complete this collection and now I can binge read it. But yeah, I've heard a lot of really great things about Jealousy and people have been enjoying it so I am super excited to own this complete series and start it. It's only a five volume series so not too much commitment there. And then the last volume I got was Hell's Paradise volume 12. This was the second last volume I needed to complete my Hell's Paradise collection. These were $6.99 on Traveling Man and obviously with the 10% discount you know you can't go wrong with that and yeah i'm just waiting for volume two now to finish my hell's paradise collection and i still can't find it for a good price anywhere because i refuse to pay more than six pound 99 for hell's paradise volumes so i'm still waiting for volume two and i really really need it so that i can actually continue the series before the anime comes out so yeah hopefully it'll come in stock soon in my local forbidden planet so yeah this is everything i got in my january haul it was quite a lot honestly but i'm really super happy with everything that i got and i got everything for a really good price so i'm really super happy about that and i look forward to reading all of these as well so yeah, let me know if there's anything in this haul that you also purchased and are looking forward to read in the new year. I do have some new year's reading goals because I definitely want to get my read rate up to above 50% because currently I haven't been reading at a faster pace than I have buying. So I really need to slow down on the buying and read more. But this is pretty much... A whole bunch that I bought in December that came this month and I opened this month so yeah I have definitely slowed down on my purchases but we shall see in terms of manga buying it's super unpredictable when I see a deal I can't resist so yeah we'll see how that goes but I'm hoping to read a lot more this year so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video again so sorry about my horrible voice i feel so bad that i am uploading a video with my voice like this but i really wanted to get this out and as well 
um, show you unboxing all of these because I didn't want to leave it too late it's already been probably a month for some of these so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and it would mean a lot to me if you like comment and subscribe my channel I am actually really close to a thousand subscribers now which is absolutely insane I just want to thank all of you again for liking and watching my videos as well as subscribing it really means a lot to me and hopefully 2023 is a great year for MangaTube as always hopefully see you in my next videos bye